So I just recorded a whole video and then it didn't work because it always messes up when I move all of my equipment from the one place to the other. <laughs> That's okay. I can just record again. It's not a big deal. I have plenty of time. So, hello Chloe. It is Sunday. I apologize for this video being up so late. I had a good bit of footage recorded, but then I had to stop recording because the camera had no memory left. So... I couldn't use any of that stuff because I don't have the camera here with me. And it's kind of a problem and I should have uploaded it before. And then there was this big old stink about me not being able to delete the files off of the camera, which I don't know why I would have had a problem with that, but I did. You know, maybe this is for the better because this subject is so much more interesting than what I had just recorded about. So the footage that I had taken on the old camera was of me going to Tom's Music Trade in Redline and looking at some records. Because I enjoy going to record stores and shopping for records, it's just good fun, you know? The thing I love about Tom's Music Trade is a lot of his stuff is labeled, but a lot of his stuff isn't labeled so that you can like sort through it and just find everything. I think half the fun of buying records is looking through records that you've never heard of and then getting one of them and then going home and going, this is awesome. I'm so glad I got this. And then half of it is thinking that you got a record by one artist and then going home and finding out it was his son and it's a completely different style of music. But that's okay. I still enjoyed it. Almost every single person I've ever talked to about the subject says that records are so much better to listen to than CDs. As far as the audio, I don't think there's a way to quantify goodness of you know, a medium of music. I guess it's partially because a CD is like digital audio and a record, I guess, isn't. This is not my area of expertise. But what I really like about listening to records is like the physicality of it. Like you have to physically take the record and put it on the thing and then you take the needle and you put it on and then you listen to it and then halfway through you have to take the needle off, flip it over, and then you put the needle back on and you listen to the rest of it. It's a very physical way to listen to music and I really love that. So that is why I like listening to records. And now that I've talked about what I wanted to talk about, back to the current state of affairs. Welcome to my new setup. I don't know how many videos are going to be made from this spot, but I think more than a few will be. You'll see me around campus in practice rooms, you know, different places. But this is home base, so get used to it. However, I did not anticipate the walls being so white and institution-like, and then the ceiling being so high. So slowly, you will be seeing posters aggregate across hopefully unless I like run out of money which would suck I'm here early for band camp nobody's here just marching band kids and then some sports kids I'm really happy to be back all right well it's time for me to keep looking over the marching band music so Chloe I will see you on Tuesday